Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In northern Syria, displaced women and their children are literally freezing to death. There are reports of babies dying due to the extreme conditions, and 45,000 people remain stranded with nowhere to go. Mr. Speaker, the Syrian war is considered to have caused the biggest wave of displacement since the Second World War. Can the Prime Minister tell the House what responsibility his government has taken for this humanitarian crisis? Yeah. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I think that the whole House will know what, what I think I have said several times in this House, that the UK leads the world in supporting uh, the crisis and supporting uh, humanitarian relief efforts in Syria. £3.2 billion this country has committed to that cause. In Blackford. Mr Speaker, the question was about the children that are literally freezing to death. That was not an answer from the Prime Minister. And of course, in 2017, as Foreign Secretary, this Prime Minister enacted a policy of accepting the Syrian dictator Assad's rule over the country. Assad has delivered death and destruction on his people, a man who has gassed his own civilians. The humanitarian situation has reached crisis point and there are now concerns of all-out war. Is the message the Prime Minister wants to send out from this House today that this UK Government is washing its hands of the Syrian people and that he is content for Assad's regime to continue enacting these atrocities. I, I really think that the right honourable gentleman needs to consult uh, his memory better because uh, he will find that this country and this government has persistently called uh, for the end of the Assad regime and indeed has, has, led the world, has led the world in denouncing the cruelty of the Assad regime towards, uh, towards his own people. That has been continuously the policy of the British government. Dean Russell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, will the Prime Minister um, join me in supporting a new initiative that I'm launching in my constituency of Watford uh, to train mental health first aiders across schools, workplaces, and the community across the whole constituency to tackle loneliness and challenge mental health stigma? And perhaps, if I may, may I ask if he could find time in his diary to join me at the launch? Thank you. <laughs> Prime Minister. Uh, well, I, I thank my honourable friend for what he's doing to champion mental health yeah, services in, yeah. in, in, in Watford, and we are massively increasing support for good mental health in schools. And if I can, uh, I will do my best uh, to come to the launch of his, of his event. Vicky Foxcroft. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. After three years of